Welcome to Nook and Cranny Gaming. My name is Nook, and in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know to defeat the curse rotted Greatwood in Dark Souls 3. Starting off, once you get to this boss room, make sure to open up the set of double doors behind you. If you do lose this fight, it would be a shame to have to run around the whole level in order to get back here. This is a great shortcut. Once you've done that, head on inside. Once inside, you're going to notice a bunch of people worshipping what appears to be a tree in the corner. Of course, as you may or may not know, this tree is the boss, the Curse Rod of Greatwood. What you're going to want to do here is just rush up to him and hit these egg sacs, which are in his crotch area. It's kind of awkward, but you need to attack these in order to push the phase on. The benefit of this is in the second phase, you won't have all these ads attacking you. Even if they come after you in this first phase, just keep attacking the egg sacs in order to push the phase. If your boss ends up doing an attack like he did to me here, he could open up vulnerable spots on his back, his ankles, and his wrists. So keep an eye out for that, but make sure your main focus is the egg sacs in the middle. I tried to go after it here, but the foot moved right before I hit. After the egg sacs are destroyed, the curse rod of great wood will rise up and bust the floor, and you'll fall into a chasm below. Here, he'll grow an extra appendage out of his stomach, along with additional egg sacs. The rest of the fight will be pinpointing these egg sac locations all over his body in order to do great amounts of damage. Right off the bat, we can see egg sacs on his ankle, his stomach, as well as the vulnerable arm, and on his upper thigh. From the rear view, you can see that he has egg sacs on his back, his hands, as well as right above his elbow, which is right off screen here. While attacking, if you get too close, he'll do a butt stomp, which puts out this yellow goop. It eats away at your health, and you definitely need to get out of it as soon as possible. Also, if you're attacking from behind, the Curse Rod of Great Wood will lay back in an attempt to squash you. This attack is indicated by him leaning forward first in a big motion, and then he'll come backward. Once he lands, this is a great opportunity to attack the egg sacs on his hand and elbow, and right under his upper arm on his right side. Sometimes you'll do enough damage to stun the Curse Rod of Great Wood, which will open up his hand for attack, which is very vulnerable on the front side. But make sure to watch out once the stun is over because that hand can damage you a lot and it has a huge damage radius. As you can see, it almost killed me here. Luckily enough, you can get away from the boss and he is super slow, so you'll have time to heal. But being far away means that he has another attack where he stands up and falls face first like some kind of drunken toddler, which again opens up his hands, elbows, and feet for attack. This is a surefire way to beat the Cursed Rotted Greatwood very, very quickly. For beating him, you'll get the soul of the Rotted Greatwood, as well as the transposing kiln, which allows you to create boss weapons in Dark Souls 3. After the fight, you'll find a bonfire, as well as an altar which deepens one of the covenants within the game. And that's all there is to know about the Cursed Rotted Greatwood. If you like this video, make sure to check out my Fallout 4 guides, as well as my new series, Explained. The first episode's all about how Zelda might actually be the villain of the Legend of Zelda franchise. Also, make sure to leave me a comment down below. I would love to talk to you. And I will see you in the next guide.